Uh, I have been drawing since I was old enough to hold a pencil or crayon. My family is very artistic and my father was an engineer and he used to bring home uh, rulers and colored pencils and extra paper and we were always encouraged to draw. So, and my brother, I'm the youngest of five and my siblings were all very good. So I had someone to follow and someone to, to um, teach me as I went along. So that's how I got started. I'm inspired by all animal life and most of my art is animal, it, it's based around animals. Like this one now is uh, sea animals. My art is influenced by, I love Aboriginal art and I never really saw too much of it till I went on vacation and then we went to a restaurant and they had Aboriginal art all along the walls and it was so pretty. It's, um, if you don't know, it's colorful, a dark background with dots they paint with, with dots. It's very, very uh, painstakingly, it's a slow process, uh, but the results are just beautiful. And uh, they basically do animals too. Uh, but I also am a fanatic about tiles and mosaics. And you can see that a lot in my art too. And color is super important to me. So most everything I do is very vivid. I went through a painting furniture phase where it was very fun and very, I loved it a lot, but um, it, selling furniture is never easy. It's big and shipping it was a problem. So I came across problems with a lot of the, the styles that I chose over the years. And, um, and then I collected tiles and I did mosaics, but again, they were heavy and it was, it was um, hindering my, um, my sales and, and such because it wasn't an easy transport and it wasn't easy to um, store. So after years and years, I started to just draw the tile instead of using the tile. And you can see like in, in that picture that I, drawing the tiles was lighter, it was way more, um, it was easy to transport and it was fun to do. So that's how I got to a piece like that, was through different trial and error and, um, and different styles and techniques throughout my career. I have heard and I love the most when my art makes someone happy, that the colors and the, and the image that they're looking at um, inspires them or reminds them of something important in their life. And I want, I want to be thought of as a skilled artist who has original ideas. It is my stress relief. It's my happy place. I could sit down and do art for hours and hours and it just flies by. I don't even realize it. And um, it, that's why I do what I do because I love the saying, do what you love, love what you do, and it will never seem like a job. And uh, that's what this is like for me, it's just joy.